the American author and leadership expert John Maxwell opines and rightly so that everything rises and falls on leadership. As the race for the speakership of the House of Representatives for 10th National Assembly hot up, one man towers above all others. Honorable Aliyu Mukhtar Betara, member representing Biyu, Bayu, Shani and Kwaya Kusa local government areas of Barunu State. The Borono lawmaker fought tirelessly to see an end to the Boko Haram insurgency in northeast Nigeria. Betara, who is the chairman of House Committee on Appropriations, is south facing, humble, a symbol of resilience, hard work, and persistence. And that they sought the leadership in him, that given the chance, this man is going to do everything for us. His disposition is uh, reach out and the rest of them. So everybody, if you ask members today to vote, for example, for their income, those of them will probably come back. They will tell, they will tell them they are waiting for him to come back. He, he doesn't discriminate. He, regardless of irrespective of gender, religion, or tri tribe, he will just want to attend to you as a Nigerian. His fellow lawmakers agree across party lines that he epitomizes intelligence, capacity and foresight in his legislative duties. At a time such as this, that requires officers of deep legislative experience and teamwork, Honorable Betara fits the credentials and more having been first elected into the House of Representatives in 2007, making him one of the longest serving legislators. So I think uh, they appreciate more to the role than anything I've done for them. Because I'm surprised when they said, okay, I went to Saudi Arabia, when I saw it on media, that they are contributing money to buy funds for me, I was shocked. I said, is this the same people I'm representing? Because for me before, I thought they were not appreciating what I've been doing to them. But when I went to the media to check, ah, I saw somebody giving out 20, 20 naira, 30 naira, 40 naira, 50 naira, where they contributed 100 and something million to prepare for, for me, so I was shocked. Honorable Betara has been the architect of leadership emergence over the past 12 years and have sacrificed ambition and resources for the greater good of party and country. What I want for the 10th Assembly, I want to contest for speakership. I've done it in the last Assembly, where the President called us and said that, okay, he wants us to support Baja, where we sat down and uh, really I supported Baja 100%. We really contested with Baja, and Baja knows the way I move on with my colleagues, I don't think I, if I contest, I will lose. I have hope, but if I contest, I'm going to win. As a man of the people, Betara has exceeded expectations in his constituency in terms of constituency project execution, empowerment and effective representation. Little wonder that his constituents return him to continue in his impressive legislative duties for an unprecedented fifth term. When I came into the second tenure, uh, when I was chairman, I'm equally the same thing. I just had my zonal intervention, 113 million. So the same thing applies to the next assembly. For the eighth assembly, we reviewed everything. I sat with the speaker and said, Speaker, if at all we want to assist our members to have projects within their constituency, we need to review everything about the budget. We should find a way to assist them, both members and senators, where we are able to give members a capital projects of 100 million to their constituency apart from the zonal intervention. And equally, senators have uh, 200 million capital apart from the zonal intervention. That is why you see in the Ninth Assembly now, members of Ninth Assembly have larger projects within their constituencies than any other assemblies. As chairman of House Committee on Appropriations, he has demonstrated zest, prudence and proficiency as an administrator and manager of human and material resources in the budgeting process, contributing in no small measure to proper scrutiny and timely passage of budgets.
Ali Mukhtar Betala was born on the 22nd of November 1966 into a large family. He is the 12th of 21 children. His father was a civil servant, heading several community councils, while his mother was a devoted housewife. He is believed to be responsible for the construction of five mini stadia with artificial synthetic grass in Biyu, Bayu, Shani, and Kwayakusa local government areas of Barunu State. Most of the empowerment programs he has carried out in his constituency so far have been that of women and the youths. A lot empowerment, human capital development, you know, road construction, all of this is for a structure in general. So we are in support of his attaining the position of a speakership in the National Assembly. Constructed a cancer treatment center in UMTH Maiduguri, the best in sub Saharan Africa. He also constructed over 80 kilometers of township roads in Biu, Bayo, Kwaya, Kusa, and Shani local government areas renovated, constructed, modern police stations in Biu and choir local government areas as well. Betara further went ahead to construct modern living quarters for the DSS and other paramilitary personnel in Biu and choir Kusa local government areas, including numerous projects in education, healthcare, water and power sectors in his constituency. Honorable Betara is believed to have deployed his personal resources to fund transplant surgeries, empower individuals for business and support local families in his constituency.